common cuckle burr, I have got a lot of calls this fall about is it the right time to control it. Unfortunately, fall isn't the right time, but we have a lot of these cuckle burrs in our pasture right now because with the moisture and the warm weather we had this particular year, it caused a lot of these seeds to germinate. And each one of these burrs has at least two seeds in them. Usually one seed will germinate, but these seeds can lay and be dormant in the ground for many years to come. The best time to spray and control cuckle burrs is May through July. Usually about June is the best time because they're there, we're just not noticing them because we don't see the burrs. A lot of times when cuckle burrs are in the seedling stage, they actually have quite a bit of toxicity to an animal. An animal has to ingest 0.75% of their body weight. So for a thousand pound cow, they would have to ingest seven and a half pounds of the leafy cuckle burr. Some of your calves and smaller animals, 0.75% of their body weight is a lot less. So anywhere that you have cuckle burrs now, go ahead and make a mental note of that because certainly next year when those cuckle burrs are actively growing and they're young, you want to go ahead and get those controlled. A 2,4-D product can be sprayed to control common cuckle burr as well as other common broadleaf weeds that you might have in your pasture. But it's important to go ahead and to control those because all these burrs are gonna produce seed and they can produce problems for you for years to come. We actually have a publication at the University of Kentucky. It's called Weed Management in Hay Fields and Pastures. You can contact your local extension office, but I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's a great guide to know what weeds that you have and what's the optimum time to control those weeds.